Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. I'm gonna share with you my classroom for the month of November. We're going to be studying community helpers this month and I'm not gonna lie, it took me a long time to get this all completed. There's just a lot more that goes into this theme and it definitely took me quite a bit longer than it typically does. And so without further ado, let's get started. In our sensory table, we have kinetic sand and little construction vehicles. Just put out some pylons and all different types. So there's some that have loaders and some backhoes and some dump trucks. For a gross motor this month, I put out my pillow fort balance beam. My writing center is set up like a post office. And so I have a little tykes mailbox right here. And then I just simply put different tags on each of these sorting baskets so they can sort by color, number, or letter. I have five children in my care, so what I like to do is add letters that correspond with the children that I have in my care on each of these baskets so that when they're sorting, they're gonna see the first letter of their name when they're sorting. And then I also like to throw in a few colors and some numbers. So I just glue a little stamp shape on it and then add a color, a number, or a letter, and then laminate and then they're sturdy and I can use them year after year. So the only ones I have to redo are the ones with names on it because every year I have different children in my care. I also wanted to put some boxes because this is a great early math skill. The children learn about capacity by placing different items in the box and some things fit and others don't. So this is a great little skill. And this is a little teacher tip, but if you belong to the HP Instant Ink Club, these are great little boxes for your classroom if you're doing a post office. I also put this cute little Sesame Street post office book up here just to have so the children can flip through and learn about what a post office is. Over at our science table this month, I set up a little plumbing station and so I'm gonna have some water in these buckets and the children can play with these little pipes. They can play with water. And then this is more for a decoration, but I do have some art projects that we're gonna be using these plungers for. Over on our puzzle shelf, I have this Melissa and Doug puzzle. It's a construction site puzzle, but it also has the picture underneath. So it makes it a little bit easier for children, but it has a lot more pieces. And so I'm really excited about this one because I have some littles that have been really interested in puzzles and they also absolutely love trucks. So this is gonna be really motivating for them to work with. And then down here, I have this Melissa and Doug community helpers puzzle, and it has three little pieces to each one. So the children have to practice putting the right pieces together to make each community helper. And then here I have a 36 piece Crocodile Creek dump truck puzzle. I absolutely love this brand. And then over here, I have this little Melissa and Doug so this is just a really great fine motor toy, but the children can also practice moving the correct vehicles into the correct slots. And of course, with the community helper theme, you gotta have some tools. So we have a tool puzzle and then farmers are one of our favorite community helpers. And so I have this Melissa and Doug puzzle. This one doesn't have the pictures underneath, but the shapes of each of the animals are pretty clear, so hopefully they'll be able to figure this one out. And down here is a DIY. These boxes I got at the Dollar Tree and they're just super cute. And I knew we were doing community helpers, so I wanted to pick them up. But what I decided to do is for each of these vehicles, I have a police car, a school bus, a dump truck, and a fire truck. I printed off different pictures that can be sorted into each of the boxes. But to make it a little more challenging, I have some real photographs. I have some black and whites. I have some clip art. So this is a little bit more challenging for the children. And I love that they're also at different angles. Even if they don't see the whole thing, they can still try to guess and only has the front of the fire truck. And so this activity is really good for visual discrimination. It helps the children be able to detect the differences in each of the pictures and be able to identify them regardless of the pictures being different. Originally I was going to put a slit in it so that they could just 
put them through, but I thought it was also a really good skill to practice opening and closing boxes. So I decided to just leave them the way they are. Over on our second toy shelf, I set up each little cubicle with a different community helper. So at the top here, I have these adorable books and they're mostly focused on the mechanic. So we have Gus's Garage, T is for Turbo, it's an alphabet book. So this one has all the different tool names and I always love a good alphabet book. And then this one is just tools. The first one is the hairdresser. And so I just put all the hairdressing tools in the basket. There's a straight iron, there's some scissors, a hair dryer, some little rollers, and then of course, a little customer. And then here we have the doctor, and I have all the doctor tools here. Stethoscope, a thermometer, a blood pressure cuff, and some gauze, so all sorts of different things. And then over here, I have the garbage man. So I have a little green toy garbage truck here. Down here, I have the mechanic. I really struggled with this theme because I don't like a lot of visual clutter, but I found it really difficult because I know some of these pieces are really important for the children to be able to manipulate and play with. This is a lot of pieces this month, but I think that they all have value. So I decided to just put them out. For the mechanic, I have this little engine and it actually makes different sounds. So the children, this is a car starting. That's the sound of filling up different fluids. And so we have some funnels here. And every year, these are one of their favorite things to play with. There's all different places on this thing that you can clamp down and use these. These are always a really popular find and I just got these at the Dollar Tree. And then of course, these are some spark plugs. And I have like an old phone cord and some old wires. A little drill here. In this box, I put a bunch of car parts. And so I just put some loose parts in here. So some of this is just made out of aluminum foil. And then these are just cord things that I've picked up at Dollar Tree or Dollarama over the years. And then I have some, just some t-shirts I got at the Dollar Tree and then I just made them look dirty. And then down here, I have the Melissa and Doug barn and some Schleck farm animals. And we know that the farmer is one of our favorite community helpers. I don't know if any of you have this Melissa and Doug barn. So the one thing that I wasn't super impressed about is that it's supposed to fold out here and it's connected here, but the first one I had broke right away, got it replaced and the second one did the same thing. So now I just keep it apart and I just let them play with it that way. But I was just wondering if, if I happen to have two fluky situations or if you guys have had that same experience. I also just threw in a cute little tractor. This is a really cute Tonka one. And then a little farm truck. And then I have some little wooden gates that they can play with as well. And some little wooden hay bales. Over in the reading area, one of my daycare parents gave me a whole set of these Sesame Street books and they're just so adorable. This one's a firehouse. This is House of Beauty. So it's all about going to the hairdresser. This one's the doctor's office, the police station, the supermarket, the library, the pet store, Hooper's store, playground, and the train station. So it's a great little set. I didn't have enough room again, so I just put them in here. Just put out this felt story for our circle time. Children always love it when I have puppets. And so we also have a Melissa and Doug doctor puppet and a fireman puppet. And then we're gonna be doing five little monkeys jumping on the bed. I love to use these little props for five little monkeys jumping on the bed. So you can use the little phone for calling the doctor. I have this little felt set for Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And then I also have a firefighter finger puppet. Here's our bookshelf this month. And then I put a little tractor out for some gross motor. And then our block area this month has these great little community buildings. So we have the school, a store, 
a gas station, a hospital, a police station, and a fire station. And then I have Iggy Peck Architect and When I Build with Blocks. And then down here, I have some construction worker items. So we have some work gloves, a hard hat, and some little vests and pylons. And then in my toy basket, I have these little Melissa and Doug cars. It has an ambulance, a hospital helicopter, a police car, and a fire truck. And then I also put my way to play roads out. And then over here, I have some Lakeshore Learning community helpers. So we have a doctor and a farmer and a mailman, construction worker, teacher, fireman, army. I also just added some pictures up here. And over in our dramatic play area this month, we actually have two big centers going on. So we have a pizzeria on this side and then a fire station on this side. So we just have a little pizza shop here. So we have the chair set up here for the restaurant and we have an apron and a cook hat. And then here's all the different things we need to make our pizzas. So I just saved this one time when we had pizza and these are all Melissa and Doug sets. And I got the printables, I believe from Play to Learn Preschool. And I just like this because you can, it just adds extra skills in the kitchen area. So the children practice sorting by the different vegetables that go on the pizza and they are exposed to a lot more environmental print. So that's great. So here's all the crust pieces. And then down here we have pizza cutters and oven mitts, cups, plates, and napkins. So I have three sets. My very first set I bought brand new, but I have been able to pick up a couple of other sets secondhand. So it just allows more children to be able to play all at once. And then over here is our fire station. I have a house on fire. And so I just tucked one of these thick cardboard things that you get at the Dollar Tree. I just tucked it behind the fence I have here. And then I got some of these I got some of this little material, red and orange, from the craft section in the Dollar Tree and I just stuck it through the windows to make it look like fire. And then the children will have boots to dress up in. And then of course we have all the firefighting. And then of course we have all different community helpers dress up. So here we have some construction, a doctor, a dentist firefighter, policeman, all sorts of different things. So we've got lots of different hats. And then I just put up this brick paper. It's, cor it's corrugated. My husband found this for me at Value Village one time and I just stuck it up on the wall to make it look like a fire station. And then I added a chair behind here with a steering wheel. And then this is one of the pieces that I have that I can change up into different things. I've used it for a flower shop. I've used it for the grocery store. I've used it for the Christmas tree farm. So it's really a versatile piece, but I just wrapped it with red wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. And then I wrote fire truck on it, put a carabiner up here for the children to be able to play and tinker with. And then I have this little switch that we also put on here. I just taped it down. It's not super pretty, but I know that the children are going to have fun playing with it. So for the ignition, we just literally used a lock and taped it down and the children will be able to start the fire truck up. Just used some black paper plates. And then the grill was actually just a piece of my shoe rack that had fallen apart and I held on to it because I knew we were doing this theme and I kind of thought it looked like a fire truck grill. And then we have these little working lights. So that's kind of a fun feature. And I got this idea from Play to Learn Preschool. I also found this fire hydrant sprinkler and thought it was a good little prop. So that's what my classroom looks like for the month of November for our community helpers theme. So I hope you enjoyed this month's tour. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.